Hello. We are live. Uh, today, we're doing some Mortal Shell. I've beaten this game once. It's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I just felt like coming back to it. And uh, normally, on Tuesdays, we'd stream uh, Stardew Valley. But I had to postpone the stream, and it's Wednesday. So we're doing just kind of whatever, which is fine. Let's start a new save file. Might be a bit loud, actually. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Nice. Hey, what's up, everyone? We got three viewers. How are you guys doing? This game is... Pretty cool. I can only describe it as like spooky Dark Souls. Actually, that's a bad description. It's like a mix of Hellblade and Dark Souls. If you guys have ever played Hellblade, it's pretty good. Just got an intro cutscene. Three viewers right away. That was pretty fast. Also, the graphics on this game are cool. Even if this first area is just pretty foggy. Can I get close to the wall and see? Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. And it gives us base mechanics, such as turning our body into stone for a second. Oh. Though we're invincible during this part, yeah. Let's get ourselves a weapon. Sick. All right, here we go. And then now it's just like let's it just basically ask you to do some basic attacks, which is good. It's kind of important to have the mechanics down because this game is quite difficult actually. You're not meant to kill the tutorial boss, but it is possible. I've done it once before just because I wanted the achievement. Not during this phase, obviously. Because he has no health bar. Oh, cool item. Got some more space here. I think there's actually an extra item. Oh no, it's not here. Where am I? This is not. Oh, I went backwards. That's. I've never done that before. Hmm. Just completely the wrong way. Oh, and I have infinite stamina in the tutorial, so I can just keep running. Yeah, there's another one here, and then there's a hidden one over here to the side. Okay. Yeah, over here. These are kind of cool. It's basically just like, if you get hit while you're in stone, it heals a little bit of health. It'd be cool if I could beat the tutorial boss again, but it's quite difficult because he obviously is not designed to be beaten. 
as he has way more health than you, and you have no armor. And just the basic weapon. The best strategy is jump attack, run, jump attack. Freeze. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna get me. That's okay. It's not like this is a fight where you can really win anything. I think it's just the same cutscene. do get eaten by this giant fish though. Which is weird. This game's like currency and power system is really interesting. It's quite complicated actually. I should do some videos on this at some point. Here we go, Falgrim. A tower hums where a muted dweller ruminates his fate. And then we're in this weird little hovel with a very slow animation for some reason. They're just it looks like we came out of this big egg or something. Which is kinda weird. And now we gotta go through this long tunnel. It's just it's just a long tunnel, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure this symbolizes something or is meant to suggest a, something about like what you are but this is a very long hole oh that was weird I don't know what happened there but we are reaching the other side it's just a big set of ribs. There we go. These things are cool. That normally I think symbolizes that the lady that essentially acts as a checkpoint and also you can upgrade yourself is around. So here we can inhabit our first shell. This one's not too good, but it's also not bad. And it obviously is better than nothing. Alright. Our weapon isn't terrible, honestly. None of the weapons in this game are, like, awful. I mean, there's only four, so I should hope not, but... You know. Four or five, I think. I think it's just four. Oh. And here's the tower. What's cool is, uh, so when you first find an object, you don't actually know what it does you have like a loose description on it but the more you use an item the more uh 
like obviously the first time you use it it gives a description and then after a certain number of uses you actually get like an improved effect from it it's pretty cool these random guys are not super dangerous a bit spazzy gotta watch out for the bear traps in this area oh almost fell into one there but we can get a banjo cool or a loot can we get any saw oh. there's some mushrooms around here that are good yeah the red mushrooms are like the main healing ones and then the uh the uh, orange ones are mostly for poison let's grab this item here it's a lot of dead people i know what's in that direction i do not want to go there right now that is a terrible idea falgrim tower Here's the uh, lady that kind of acts as a checkpoint. Sister Janessa. Is that how you say it? I'm pretty sure. There we go. So obviously we don't have any like enough resources to do anything yet. But pretty cool. And this kind of this tower acts as like the hub area, so eventually we can get all the weapons here. And each like ghost of the weapon kind of gives you a hint on where you can find it. Oh, item. Cool. Let's remove this boy's seal. Sick. This man has a very funny shaped head. You never actually get to see what's underneath it. At least that I know of, unless they've changed that. Because there's been, I think, some big updates since I've like beat the game. Also, his voice acting, I can't hear it right now. But it is some of my favorite voice acting. Just ever. Deeper within the temples of the devout, you'll find the secret glands of the holy unity. I wish I could uh let that or like turn up the volume for myself. Actually I should do that for next turn. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land before you end up like me. Okay, we have the Tarnished Seal, which is just essentially how you parry, but it works with any weapon, so that's cool. Uh, we gotta get this dude some actual stuff. Some glands, he wants some sacred glands, he just casually asks the favor of the entire game. I mean, to be fair, we got nothing else better to do, so... That's fair. Oh, that was not good. Uh, but up here we have a merchant. And he just has a pettable cat. I don't know why they added this. But I love it. It's good. You can just pet the cat. I'm not even going to talk to the guy. I'll come back here later. So I can get the crossbow rocket launcher is not actually that much of an exaggeration. How did I miss? I do not know how I missed that. That was terrible. Oh no. There's a lot of them. Oh. Okay. That was actually pretty scary. I thought I was gonna die there. 
Actually, I should equip my healing items. Uh-oh, never mind, they're close. I don't remember if this game your inventory, like, pauses or not. Okay. This guy's a little bit spooked. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay. I suppose we should just try and take out all these small people for now. Here we go, let's... <clears throat> Sorry. Actually, hold on, let me turn off my mic for a second. Oh, sorry, I just had to clear my throat there. That was not good. Uh, there we go. We just have healing items equipped. That's good. I should use that before I even fight. Uh, oh. We have not come across anything crazy yet, which is nice. Because there are some actually pretty strong, well, okay, not pretty, but like relatively strong enemies for this area. There's one just after this part, I think. Let's take out these guys first. There we go. Right dumb. Rotten food, very cool. Kill this man. Alright, nice. Inferior moonshine. Probably not gonna use that, but that's okay. I think there's a big... Yeah, okay, I gotta kill these guys quick because the big guy's coming. I don't want to fight both. There we go. Oh, oh he didn't even come here. Okay, I want to get rid of him before it becomes a problem. Cool. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. I should use another one of these healing things. Because there's another big guy right there. I want to lure him away. So what's the button for parry? Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll parry him, or I'll try. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay. Come on. Or one of them. Oh. Guess I need a little to be a little bit more preemptive than that. Oh, the parry timing is so different from Dark Souls. That is unfortunate. Okay. It's it's convenient though. Alright, that's good. I like that. Okay, he's done. Roasted rat. Very cool. Um, I don't actually remember which way is what, because there's like different areas you can go from the beginning. So I'm probably just gonna just go about my business, honestly. Like, just keep walking around. I'm not gonna fight this guy. Um, oh, okay, this area is kind of a dead end. That man's cool. Uh... We could just go... Uh, let's just go this way. I don't actually remember which way this leads to. Uh, that guy is fast. That guy... Oh, I dodged that. That's alright. Um, oh, I might... Remember a little bit of this. Fulgrim Outskirts. Alright, I need to keep a better eye on my stamina, actually. I have a lot less than I am playing like I do. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think I know which way I am. Okay. Here's the very big temple. Which does not have the weapon I'm looking for, but it does have the best armor and the hardest enemies so we probably won't do this area first but I'll probably take the shell 
Because this is like, this shell has so much health. Though not that much stamina, so it kind of bounces out. It looks sick, though. All right. Um, we could probably go and try and grab this weapon. I just don't know if I'm going to use it. Oh, sir. Can I knock him off the edge? Yes. Oh, hopefully not me. Okay. Got him. Nice. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm not going to do this area first because I will die. But, yeah. It's cool. This is actually one of the best looking areas, I'd say. If it loads. <laughs> oh. Here we are. Yeah, look at just, like, the floor. And then, and this is not even, like, it is... I'm struggling to speak here, but as you continue to go, this area, like, you get to cooler and cooler looking areas. Like, this is my favorite branch of the path, I'd say. Like, look at all these walls and stuff. And here, I'll just go out here so you can see. Um, I'm not going to fight this guy because he's so strong. And this is just the regular, yeah, this is just the regular enemies of the area. But they're so powerful. But just like, yeah, it looks so good. Now I got to run past this guy again. Yeah. Stone for the win. Okay, let's go speak to Sister Janessa. So we can hopefully make all the enemies go away. Hello. Cool. Okay. I guess we're going to use this shell for now. I mean, we can eventually get all of them. I, normally I sit through all the lore, but I'm not going to make you guys do that. <laughs> okay. Cool. We have the ability to upgrade things here. I think I want to use... So normally I use the big fire mace. However, I think the ice sword is what I might use this time. Though I do kind of want to get this weapon. This is like a really cool hammer and um, chisel kind of weapon. Also, this animation is gross. But we need to go to the other world so we can try and get that weapon. I mean, I could try and just use the base weapon. Like, the hollowed sword is actually pretty cool. But I don't know. We'll see. I just don't want to use the mace again. Not because it's not fun, but just because I've used it enough where I feel like it wouldn't be fun to do that. Oh, this is going to be painful to fight him at this level. You're not intended to do it like this, I feel like. Oh, sick. That was cool. Oh, and you can hit people while they're down? That's cool. I forgot about that. I've not, once again, I've not played this game in a while. I don't think I have any healing items, though, which is not good. Okay, cool, another parry. I like those. That's fun. 
think I should just keep focusing on getting good at berries. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is... Oh, yeah. My little brand will flash red whenever something can't be parried, like a Sekiro type of thing. So that's cool. Also, I'm taking actually not that much damage just because I have far too much health with this armor on. Taking kind of a disrespectfully low amount of damage. Oh, also, you can outhold him for the stone thing. Uh oh. Come on, bruh. Get parried. No. Uh oh. Okay, so you have like a second chance, but only one second chance in between lives. Also, I was being so bad there, that was not, like, a even close to save strategy. Oh no, I should have... I should have believed in my parrying abilities, that would have been much better. Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh, darn it, I did it again. <laughs> I really thought I was going to fail there. That was not good. Oh. Here we go. Get him. Oh, sick. Holy crap. First try. That was cool. I think I think that was pretty good. If you were seeing little like glitching parts at the bottom of the stream, that was like actually on my screen, not just the recording, so I don't know what happened there. Yeah, that's weird. That shouldn't be doing that. Might have just been... Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's get this weapon. I guess we'll use this for now. This is cool. I don't actually know how to use this weapon super well, so... I think if we're going to get the Ice Sword, I think this is a good... a good weapon. Here we go. Once again, do not remember where the ice sword is, so we'll have to figure that out. Okay, let's try and get this guy to fall off. I'm guessing if he just attacks right here. Oh. I thought he'd fall off from that, I'll be honest. Oh, oh, no. That's not good. Okay. I'd rather not fight this man. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, that was tragic. I'm gonna have a drink.
could have just ran, and I got cocky. That was not good. I forget how, oh yeah, I was gonna say, I forget how it works to like get your stuff back, but it's just like that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what way you're supposed to go. Not that there's a set way, you can kind of go wherever. But for what I'm looking for. I think if we just keep running, it'll probably be fine. I don't- I think we're doing maybe less damage than before, but we can, like, attack faster. Because I think that's the point of this weapon, is that it's, like, a fast combo weapon. But I'm not sure. I could be mistaken. Yeah, that seems right, because, oh wow, you like, hammer, slam, what is, is that him, the green stuff, or is that me? I have no idea. Uh, oh, okay, I know where I am. Okay, if I go through here, then I can crawl through this tunnel. This tunnel actually takes you into a boss arena. You technically don't have to fight the boss, but it is still a boss arena that I'm not going to fight because he's so powerful early game. I'll take the, the chest, though. Oh, cannot even finish the animation. That's okay. Just run. Uh-oh. Okay, avoid the bear traps, I guess. And run. I'm going to talk to Sister Janessa here yes. so that yes. I can kind of save my spot. Cool. All right. Hmm. I do not know what is going on upstairs, but it is so unbelievably loud. I have headphones on and I can just hear constant crashing around. Oh, that is terrifying. This looks like the tree from Berserk. That's cool. Hold on, I think I recognize where I am a little bit. I think this way, there's like a little cave. Oh, I'm mistaken. I think I need to go further down. But somewhere around here, there's like a little cave. And I think that's the entrance I'm looking for. Is this it? No, this does not look correct, but I am curious to what this way is. Oh. These things are terrible. Because they're very powerful and they can do, like, blood-sucking attack things like that. If you're not stone, they just kind of do a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, like that. And then it gives you poison. And so, oh, there's a very large group of them here. I did not see that. Okay. I guess just run. I 
I don't know what this way is. But we're gonna have to make do with it, I guess. Yeah, where is this? Let's take this man out. Uh oh. Sir, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, we're close to that tree thing, I think. Are we? No, this is the other area. Okay. Let's go this way. Just follow the water. Never mind. We're literally at the beginning of the game. I wonder what just following the water from one side to the other does. I mean, obviously we have to go back, but maybe that's actually where we're meant to go. Okay, heal before I start running. Okay. Go through here. Should also eat another mushroom. I think, you, yeah, you can have two mushrooms healing at once. Or more than two. And I'm out. So I cannot demonstrate the more than two, but that's okay. Okay, I have some more. There's an item over there, but I don't really want to risk getting killed here. Oh, is this... Oh, here's the area I'm thinking of. I think this is it. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I believe... Yes, because the fire area... Is something else. And this is like a crypt kind of zone. And I remember that's where the ice stuff is. Like, you have to keep going down. Yeah, that seems right. All right, here we go. Cool. So we need to get some more tar. And here's the weapon. Oh, there's also mushrooms that grow here. That's cool. Okay. Let's open up this book and make an attempt to get this weapon. We do have some mushrooms, which is nice. It's a bit of a Bit of a weird way of reading, but that's all right. Or what was the prompt? Recite. Yeah. I think this, yeah, this is the weapon I'm thinking of. So I guess we'll see how effective it is as we fight him here. Uh oh. Okay, nice. Okay, we're doing okay. Uh oh. Okay, why is everything unparryable? Bruh. Also, it does a lot of damage. Okay, quickly heal. Why can I not? Okay. No, 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 no. I should have healed before. Okay, that was weird. Hey, we've used 10 of them, so we get actually more healing per mushroom now. Oh. Didn't even matter. Okay, I 
think we're gonna need a couple attempts on this one. Yep. Oh. That does not look parryable. Okay, I guess you just can't parry that weapon. Oh. Oh, I am frozen. Okay, that's cool. I think that's one of the, like, later powers that you unlock with that specific sword. Uh-oh. My controller batteries are low. Normally that means you got a couple hours. It'll be fine. Oh, no. Oh. That was not the call. I should not have done that. Well, we'll have to have another attempt. I don't know what it's loading. I don't think it takes you back every time. Hello. Hey, thanks for joining the stream. How are you today? We're doing some, uh, some mortal shell. Trying to get this weapon a little bit early. Cool. You say, how are you today? Very quiet. Oh, shoot. Is my mic quiet? Um, hold on. How do I pause? Oh, you can just not pause in this game. Okay. Is my mic... I don't know if that's better. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Just had a uh, calculus test, but we're, you know, back on the stream grind after a while. I had to uh, delay yesterday's stream because of calculus, but that's all right. actually more difficult than the fight that is scaled for later in the game. Which is kind of weird. Oh. I gotta get better at parrying in this game. This is not good. It's quite embarrassing, actually. Okay. Here we go. This shell is doing quite a bit of work. The armor is fantastic. I just need a better weapon. I usually go for glass cannon type setups anyway, so getting this big slow sword will be fitting. Oh no. Well, I guess after I'm frozen, it's pretty much. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's pretty much the end, but I guess not. Oh, sick. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Do I have any healing? No. Okay, just bait his attack. 
We're probably not gonna get this, but that's okay. Oh, just run. Just run. No. Okay, come on. I need to pay attention to what's parryable. If I can get something off that I can parry, then it'll be fine. That's not very guaranteed. Oh! Oh, sick, I got him. Sick. Well, I should probably grab my... Oh no, where did my money go? Ah. Oh. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. That was a lot. Uh-oh. I'm sure it's fine. We do have the weapon now. That's what matters. We just also, I think, need more health and actual, like, powers and stuff for our armor. But let's just get this weapon. Okay. That is a very long sword. Okay, this is good. Oh. Terrible enemies. Oh, I'm just now realizing that I'm about to die. There's not much healing in this game. There we go. Oh. Yep. That's alright. At least we'll start pretty close to where we were. And we'll still have the sword. It's not like we really had very much tar or resources anyway. I'm not entirely sure if we should go and try and do the kind of route you're meant to do, or if it would be smarter to try and do this way a little bit more so that we can have access to the like upgrades for this sword. Because how difficult are these guys? Not too bad. I feel like, like how, okay, they're almost dead after three light attacks. Granted, this is a powerful sword, but I feel like, oh, wow. Is he, can I just two-shot him? No. Oh, what? Nice. Come on, sir, please. Okay, perfect. Oh, what are you, sir? Oh, that is terrifying. I forgot about this man, honestly. I remember him now that I see him, but that is quite scary. Uh-oh. Can I parry him? Yep. Okay, cool. Hey, you got him. A man with just several swords in him is quite... quite a scary thing to see, I'll be honest. Oh. These are more of these vampire guys. Oh, lots of stuff in here. Might be better off with wide sweeping light attacks then. Oh, oh, no, sir. Please. No. Ah. Okay, hold on. I gotta get out of here. 
Take another mushroom. Oh wow. My kind of ranged attack there is super powerful. I don't like that they're, they all just walk super slow. That's kind of terrifying. This is a very atmospheric area, though. I like this quite a bit. I think it's cool that it's kind of difficult to fight in here because of I have, like, a big sword and the walls are tight. I think that actually makes it kind of more scary because you're a bit claustrophobic almost. Oh. Boom. New meta. Oh. Fall. Cool. Oh, no. Sir. Oh, large bolt. That's to upgrade the base weapon. I think. That's cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Run. I don't like being poisoned. Uh, am I going to survive? Possibly. Hey, Nolo guy, what's up? How's your day going? We're doing some... Uh mortal shell and I'm about to die of poison it's not looking good oh no ah okay get back in how am I still poisoned okay I was gonna say what that did not seem right okay let's get some of this anti-poison um, it's been pretty good. That's good. Good to hear. You got any plans for kind of, oh yeah, mine's been good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, do you have any plans for kind of the day off coming up here? Or are you just gonna chill? That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna relax. Um, boiled toad. I forget what boiled frogs do. Get poisoned. And then poison. And then boom. Immunity. Perfect. It's definitely how real life poison works, guys. I'm realizing I did not actually want to fight these guys, and I regret instigating that conflict. That was not a good decision. Just spam the good move. It does a lot of stamina, but it works. Boom. Definitely how we were intended to play the- what was that? What is- what is that? It's like a little... Oh, that was weird. Yeah, just gonna chill. Yeah, that's fair. Thought I saw a little, like, dust enemies or something. That was weird. Uh-oh. This man is scary. Oh, shoot, he's strong. Oh. Okay. Come on. Looks like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Nice, got him. Ooh, Quenching Acid. Quenching Acid is very good. That's basically just, like, upgrade your weapon once.
cool that that's so like shallow into the level. Okay, another one of these guys. Just get him. Okay. Sir. Uh oh. Can I parry him? I can. Very cool. Is he dead? Yes. Nice. That's what I like to see. Got some mushrooms. Uh oh. This. Uh, I know what this guy is, and I don't really want to fight him. They're giving me a bunch of items beforehand. What's Scripture of Defiance? I forget what that does. Oh, it might be like a Homeward Bone kind of thing. I don't really want to use that, I'll be honest. Okay, time for Difficult Boss. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That is actually quite a bit of, quite a bit of knockback. And I do not do that much damage against this boy. I'm not looking, I'm looking worse for wear to begin with. Can I parry him, please? Please? Oh, did not expect that. I was kind of joking, but that's all right. Oh. Huh. Lots of icicles falling. That's a bit dangerous. Hmm. Huh. I need to get some more. I have no idea what it's called, but it's whatever the resource you use to parry. It might be in my best interest to actually heal. I really didn't think this run was going to go anywhere. Unknown effigy. I do not know what that does. That's cool. Oh. Never mind. I guess this run is not going anywhere. Alright. Let's get some items in our inventory all ready. And this might be doable. This is not the route you are intended to do first, but it could be the most viable if we are trying to use this weapon. Because then we can get all the upgrade materials for this specific weapon first, and then be prepared for everywhere else with just a busted weapon. Look, I'm going to use the... Uh, Quenching acid we got to put on the Meteor's Blade. Oh. oh. Okay, we need Petrified Winter Glass and Radiant Winter Glass. Let's upgrade it. Nice. Also, if we get more tar, we can go to that salesman guy and then get a bunch of... Um, like quenching acid early. But I think you need quite a lot. You need like, I think 8,000 to get the basically rocket launcher. Yes, there is basically a rocket launcher in this game. Kind of ridiculous, but also why not? All right, we're in. Let's go. Okay, that was unparryable. Oh. That is probably also unparryable. <laughs> oh, I don't even have any of the resource right now. I can't even do that. It's not even just I'm missing. I, th I am also missing, but I'm... It's just... 
I am also just incapable of doing that move right now. Oh, oh. Is that a stun lock? Looked like it. Oh. I'm not sure how you would dodge that, I'll be honest. Oh, I think this is how I beat him the first time. I think I was just kind of kiting him around the pole. Though, obviously using a different weapon. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's such an awkward timing to, like, move around. Okay, come on. Roll. Roll. Sometimes that does three. I don't like that. Oh, I need to be using my stone move more. Okay, cool. Nice. Yikes, okay. If we had any parries, this would be much easier. Can you still parry without the resource? Am I stupid? Not that it would be as worth it, but... Oh, you can. Okay, cool. It'd still be a decent way of preventing annoying attacks. Oh, cool. I got the resource now. Okay. Okay. Come on. That should have counted. Come on. Okay, that's a thing you roll through. Okay. No. Ah. Pretty close. Darn. I feel like, yeah, I definitely need to figure out the parry timings a bit more. I'm mostly just pressing the button whenever it looks like I'm about to get hit. But that's, you know, that's how you parry in Dark Souls most of the time. But this seems to have a lot more just kind of random element to it. That was a terrible voice crack. I'm sick right now, so my voice is all messed up and weird. It's not good. Okay. Let's get this. And then... What does the rat do? I think the rat is health as well. Spectral token. What is spectral token? What is this? Hmm. I think that's for stamina, but those are kind of bad. Not even like, oh, I shouldn't use them right now. They just are kind of, they just objectively are not that useful. Okay, I don't know what the best route for picking up healing items is going to be. That's the poison immunity one. Sir, come on. I'm trying to do a boss fight. Just let me go. Is there any? No? Okay. Okay, let's use this token. Oh. 
it's not looking good. Oh. Okay, come on. This is getting a bit ridiculous. I know we're not supposed to fight this thing yet, but it's like, I should be doing a bit better than this, at least. Not that these things are super survivable normally anyway. Yeah, we might be better off just going to the other dungeon. I mean... Hmm. Because I could keep just throwing myself at this boss. But it's like, is that going to be entertaining? Probably not. And normally I would just sit here until I beat it. But... I suppose let's go to the... Uh, area we're meant to be going because even now even if I made it past that part I don't think it would be realistic to beat the like actual main boss at the end of the area with how like I currently am stats wise like, I definitely need an upgrade Hmm. All right. Let's keep just exploring, I guess. Grab some more quenching acid. Or just get a bunch of tar and then go back to the main area. Might be a better option. We could kill the, like, early Grusha thing first. Can we take on three of these big guys? Possibly. I think because of the sword we're using, our options are quite limited. In terms of timing and stuff, because it's big, and it is quite slow. That's okay. It is powerful, so it does make up for it. No, bear trap. Is that a one shot? No. Darn. Come on, hit me. Nice. <laughs> cool. Got some more of these mushrooms. Oh, that was not a mushroom. Hmm. Where is this? Where am I? I'm not entirely sure. Let me have this mushroom. Why is there so much going on? Hmm. There we go. Guy removed. Oh. Am I getting health from kills? I'm not entirely sure. Once again, not played this game in a while. This game is very visually appealing. It is. I do quite like it for that. If I go to the, um, back to the, like, black glass area, that is one of the most visually appealing areas in the game. It's super cool. Oh. Come on, get back in. Nice. Oh. I need to get better at, like, actually freezing on time. Get this guy is kind of egregious. There we go. Get out of here. 
All right. Let's keep moving here. Oh, there's something here. Huh. That's cool. Guess just a piece of tar. I, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where I am, but this is an interesting area. I think this just loops around. I think this is just a way of, like, there's just loot kind of scattered around here. I'm not sure if it goes anywhere. I mean, upstream. Oh. What is here? Uh oh. That is just a particularly angry looking man. Let's just get rid of him. Oh! Mini boss. Uh oh. Okay. Um. That's fine. I mean, I'd rather not fight a mini boss right now. That's okay. Oh, he's actually strong. Uh oh. Why can I not parry him? Does he just do instant poison? Are you joking? That parry should have done a little bit more, I think. Okay. Attack me? Yes. Can I just keep him in a stun loop with my heavy? Please. Okay. Attack me, sir. Cool. Cool. Alright, this is good. This is nice. I'm okay with this. Okay. I think this is the way it was designed. I think this is definitely how how you were intended to beat this, I think. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We're good. Uh, let's get this item. Oh, never mind. Apparently we're gonna get this shell first. Oh, just an actual skeleton. All right. Cool. Oh. Oh, so we just have like no health and a lot of stamina. Honestly, I can vibe with that. Let's give it a try. Not how I typically play this game, but maybe that's why it'd be cool to try it out. I feel like this is not a good mix with the great sword, but that's fine. You can also just hit very far with the great sword. Oh, oh, we have a cool roll. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the cool roll is cool. That was a bad way of alliterating that, but. That's actually kind of sick. We have like Karthus Milk Ring roll, or Karthus Blood Ring, I forget which ring it is. But just better roll, essentially. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. We got him, nice. Yeah, the only thing is, look at our health. Holy crap. Okay. But maybe, maybe this is the way we go. Maybe this is, this is the type of playthrough we do. Can we hit those things? I'm not sure. I want to grab this item. Nice. Okay. Mushroom. And then I'm assuming, yeah, orange mushroom. I don't know what this way is, but let's check it out. Oh, 
Hold on. We have an enemy. Oh, I recognize this way. This seems familiar. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's just get rid of those, these guys. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Just chop him up. Oh. Not so fast, sir. Some more mushrooms. We should start collecting them instead of just using them right away, but it's difficult because I keep just taking damage. That guy went flying. That did not look like it was supposed to happen. Just get him out of the way, though. Take out this man. Okay, here we go. Knock him. Oh wow, that didn't even knock him over. Okay, got him. Anything cool around here? Nope. Yeah, we should head back to the hub area, but there does appear to be... Oh, okay, this is in the direction of the actual way we're meant to be going. So maybe... I think if I go this way, this will bring us back. And then we can just kind of trace our steps back and then go to the area where we're meant to go. Yeah, this way. It's actually a little bit harder to just run through areas, I feel like, than in Dark Souls. But I'm not 100% sure. I have not... Actually, that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. Uh, Nolo guy, I'll probably... I'm just... <laughs> that actually probably came out of nowhere. I was just thinking randomly. Um, I'll probably start working on a uh, video I've been editing. But I took a bit of a break here because of school and stuff. I'll probably... It's a good Dark Souls video, actually. But it's just, you know, sometimes you end up making something way longer than it's supposed to be. And it just just ends up like that. And there's nothing you can really do. We did get people voting on, um, like, what video I should record next on the Discord server. So that's fun. Yeah, this guy might actually be... Shall we use? Let me use uh, where was it? Here we go. The tar piece, quite a bit, and then I'll just a little bit. It's a glimpse of wisdom. Oh wow, that was three. Okay. On Empowered Repost, I will release Poisonous Cloud, gain some damage when low on stamina. That's not... That's not gonna happen. I have a lot of stamina. Sprinting doesn't... Oh! That's... Holy crap. On killing an enemy, gains a buff which poisons enemies on hit. Lose buff when you are hit. Oh, that's really powerful. Taking poison damage heals you for a portion of the damage... Which would have been dealt. That's pretty good, I feel like. Striking a poisoned enemy increases of other passive triggers. Regen last chance upon defeating the foes. Oh, I think these are all the ones... Yeah, these are all the ones that are universal. The, like, bottom three. Um, 
I need to do I need to get some more of this. There we go. Seek this and you'll see. Cool. I think the The assertion of dominance is really good, but I think the yearning one is good because you get poisoned a lot, I feel like. Okay. How much is this one? 1,100. I cannot afford that. Alright. I'll have to come back when I have more. More stuff. We have... Do we have all the weapons but one already? Yeah. We only need one more weapon. That's fast. Okay. Let's go talk to the shopkeeper man. And see what his prices are, because I do not remember. Alright. Um, large bolt. Oh, large bolt is not an upgrade thing, that's an ammo type. Um, quenching acid. He has that at 2,500, but I think it goes up. This is 8,000, which is a lot. Um, hmm. Alright. I'll just keep that in mind. The quenching acid might be worth it soon. But the, uh, tools will be a long-term investment. Okay, let's... Honestly, I'm just gonna fight some of these guys, because I just need more resources. Not even just for buying stuff, but for, like, the upgrade materials. Ooh, superior moonshine. It's just slightly better. Come on. Nice. Superior moonshine actually might not be good. I know the, like, inferior one kind of sucks. But I'm not entirely sure about the inferior one. Or the superior one. Nice. This feels like a lot more like anime swordsman kind of build. But that's okay. Oh. Not actually. Oh, actually we get an okay amount for each kill. How are you alive, sir? That's alright. Okay, we got some little items. Roasted rat. Not still not sure what that does, but it's probably just like healing or something. Healing or stamina, I would assume. Wow, we suddenly jumped up to four viewers. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? Completed tar. Let's go. Oh no, wrong button. There we go. Decent amount, medium amount. We're doing okay. We could start... What is this way? We could start just kind of working our way out. Without necessarily going down a path yet. Just until we have a couple more upgrades. Or we could attempt that first kind of like mini boss. Even just for practice for the slightly stronger ice version. With this weapon, we have like a plus one weapon, we'll say. Kind of decent. This guy, oh, that guy is kitted out. That was weird. Roasted rat, let's go. That's what we like to see. Oh, this is up on... Oh, okay. Fair enough. I wonder what these dudes are just doing here. They're just chilling with moonshine in their tents. Let's... 
I'm not entirely sure what the lore is, but I am curious. Okay. Zapped that man. Um, yeah, we could, I guess we could go attempt the first mini-boss. I might be thinking it's more difficult than it is, or it might legitimately be as difficult as I'm picturing. Did you just die in one hit? Oh no, pretty close. Okay, let's get to this man. Okay. Oiled frog, very cool. It's a good good two hit combo. Hmm. Alright. Actually we should get inside before we start. Messing around in the inventory. I think Okay, we got like one thousand and a bit. Hmm. We need just barely slightly more. Got anything around here? Huh. Okay, I just have to kill one more enemy. <laughs> Roasted rat and boiled frog sounds nasty. Yeah, but it sounds very slightly better than rotten food. Just slightly, though. <laughs> And I think the stats of the items reflect that, but I'm not sure. Okay, nice. Hmm. Alright. Okay, I think we have enough resources. I think it was eight and then something thousand. Oh, we don't have eight yet. What was this one? Oh, okay. Uh, I would pick the repost one if you could just parry at any time, but the fact that parrying just kind of depends on do you have the resources for it. It's kind of like, well, I'm not going to commit to that. Oh! that used a lot it might be better to get something else because if you die I think you lose those um oh okay also this is way more overpowered so I might just take that yeah 20% chance that's one in five times I get hit I don't take damage that's kind of fantastic. With tears. Where... Wow. Okay, I need to go... I guess I need to go attempt this boss, but I need to be careful because... I'd rather not die with this much glimpse on me. Because it is actually pretty rare. I did not mean to get this much. Okay. We do decent damage to him. We just need to be careful. His moveset is also less complicated than the other one. Okay. Mushroom. Okay. Can we parry him? Not that move. Oh. Whack him. Parry him. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Whack him. Yes. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh. No. We are no longer doing... Actually, we're doing alright. We might be able to do this. Oh, okay, we got knocked out there. Let's get back in, get back in. Oh. 
That was almost just insta-death. That was very close to just insta-death. Come on, do the, do take the token. Okay, heal a bit of health. No, 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 no. Okay, get away. This is stressful. I'd rather not die. Okay. No, oh, what? What? The recoil from his attack killed me. Are you joking? Ah. Uh, bruh. All right. Well, hopefully, when we recover our resources, the glimpse is still there. I don't remember how it works, and 11 is, like, a lot, a lot. So, hopefully, it's there. <laughs> Though, we did pretty good for the tiny amount of health that we do have. I think once we get the ability to start poisoning things, a mixture of ice and poison is going to be quite useful. Because we can just poison people, freeze them, and then just run away. It's the perfect strategy. Okay, there is our corpse. Let's take this opportunity and just hit him once. Nope, nope. Take the thing, roll. Does that look like it recovers the 11? I think so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Cool. I don't think that should have hit me. That is all right. Okay, that has that does damage, which is kind of weird, but I need to keep that in mind. Hmm. The range on some of these moves is kind of weird. Keep moving. Keep moving. Go like that. Okay, cool, parry. Okay, the parry actually healed us. Oh wow, we were doing we were doing off there. We were popping off with that combo. Oh, let's go. Holy crap. That, okay, that was kind of sick. We did good, guys. That was crazy. Now, what is in this box? Oh, mechanical spike. Okay. It's just the uh, upgrade material for the first weapon. Down here, you can get another piece of armor in here. But I don't really want to do that. Because I'm going to stick with this one for now. Okay, am I able to get any more tar? No. All right. I'm not sure where we should grab some more. How much do I have? Yes. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, that's the poisonous cloud. Where? What was the crazy one we saw? Oh no, this was the busted one. And this is the one we we're trying to get. Even still. 
we'll still have so much glimpse. We should probably just keep trying to get tar here until we can actually afford that. Though we can upgrade stuff with, um, like, anytime there's a checkpoint, essentially, we'll have access to that. So we can keep moving towards the actual goal. So what we should be doing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, actually. So we got, like, 700 right now. Should keep trying to collect that. And just take out these guys on our way. Oh, that did not look like it was supposed to happen. Nice. Got some more wisdom there. Would rather not get chased down here. But this is the correct way to go. Oh yeah, we don't have access to those little, little statues right now. When you do have access to them, the game gets way harder. It's a cool mechanic though. I don't know if we'll get to see that this stream, but... I don't know if this is something I'm going to stream again, but maybe I will. That'd be cool. Because I'm probably going to do... Or obviously I'm going to continue doing Stardew Valley. I'm going to... Um, finish Resident Evil 2, which we did last stream. We'll probably just keep playing different games on and off. Eventually I want to do Giraffe Town. I know Jackal already did Giraffe Town. But I... Did not see the ending specifically because I've not put in that game on my own yet. Though it is fantastic. Oh. Sir. Nice. Okay, that was stressful. But yeah, Giraffe Town will probably be. Something I eventually do. Probably other games like that. Oh. I don't know how I died there. But that's alright. Hmm. Huh. I feel like I'm a bit more salty than usual every time I die, but I think that's just because I'm kind of tired. But that's okay. Maybe today would have definitely been the day for Stardew Valley. But this is fun. Even if I occasionally get annoyed, that is part of the beauty of it, I suppose. This might be a bit of a shortcut. Yes. Perfect. Oh. Oh no. My controller died. Uh. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Can I mute my... I'll be back in a second, guys. Sorry.
Okay. I am back. Oh no, no, low guy. <laughs> Streamlabs did not like frog. That is unfortunate. I know, I should turn off, like, that bot for anything except, like, excessive spamming. I don't know how to change settings on that, but I should. So I don't mind if you guys put a bunch of emojis in there, but the bot will kind of get, like, annoyed. Okay, there we go. We're back. We are back. Let's grab these. Oh no, we can't even grab the mushrooms. Just keep running. The perk where, um, stamina is not used for running seems kind of busted. Okay. Oh, sir. Oh, no. Sir. Oh, come on, we're almost there. No, don't get stuck on the stairs. Go. Yes. Oh, stressful. Okay, we're in. I mean the last weapon is here, but I'm not I'm probably not gonna get it. There's there's no reason. Unless we just wanna fight the guy again, but I don't think he really gives us anything. Oh no. What? Out of video memory I'm not sure what that means, I'll be honest. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I do not know what happened. I think the game crashed. That's a bit... bit weird. I'll be honest, sometimes the uh, Elgato game capture card is a little bit, a little bit hard to deal with. All right. Okay, it might be, I know it doesn't appear yet, but uh, it might be working here. Hold on, I'll turn that layer on on a second. I just forget what prompts here. Sorry about this, guys. Okay. There we go. It might be working. Huh. I'm not sure what that was about. I don't know if that was prompted specifically from Xbox or if that was something to do with the card. But I'm sure it's fine, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, it's oh, but we have all our stuff. And we're back in this area. Hmm. At what point? I'm not sure. But it's probably we're probably okay. 
I wonder if just entering there did some like weird crash or something. I don't know. Oh, whoa, that was kind of sick. Oh, I thought it was a double kill. That's sick now. That was surely... Excuse me? There we go. Alright. Honestly, just... Maybe going back to the, uh... Could we go back to the Grusha now? No. Though, once we get the poison thing... Hmm. I don't know, because I don't want to walk all the way over there just to... Like, be reaffirmed that we're not able to beat it at this point. Like, that would kind of be... Annoying. Oh. Okay. I feel like that would be a bit of a, a bit of a waste of time, sir. There we go. But we did beat this current Grusha in that crazy combo. But I don't know if that would work as well in that other environment. But once we have poison and stuff. I think it's going to be more viable. Because we could poison it for a bit, and then if we retreat, we're still doing damage. But starting to do combos with this sword, I think, is something that's going to get us further. The only thing is that uh, one obviously does more damage because it's a boss later in the game. And we have still basically no health. Yeah, like we can even just get stun locked to death by tiny enemies. So perhaps we'll have to reevaluate the plan. I want to get to the first checkpoint in like that other temple. Uh, before we end the stream, I think. Stunlock is not Pog, it's true. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually Stunlock or if I was just playing poorly. But I feel like with some of the boss combos, you can definitely get Stunlocked. Okay. Oh, do we not even drop glimpse? Yeah, we still have 17. I'm realizing my avatar is in front of it, but slightly better than it being in front of my health bar. Okay, let's take this guy out. That was... I'm incredible. Here we go. Okay. Get wrecked. Um, there we go. I should start doing Destiny at one point. That would be a cool and very toxic stream. I don't know. Oh, that was an awful voice crack. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I should take some, like, cough syrup or something. I don't know what's going on. Because I've been sick for like a week. It's, it's not good. Okay. Oh. You materialized. That's great. Can I heal? Yes. Hmm. I think I was at full health there, but maybe he's just actually that strong. 
which would put my current plans in jeopardy, because I think if anything can one-shot me, that is very bad. Very bad for my long-term health. Okay, we got the banjo guy. I suppose using the stone power will help. Yeah, I keep dying there. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I just get cocky at that point. Yeah, I think we're going to have to use the other armor just because I'm just not I'm just not good at the game. <laughs> or we'll have to get like a more balanced armor uh, that has more equal health and stamina because I think we have like the main extremes at the minute. But there are other sets of armor. I do like the poison powers of this one. So I'm not sure. I might just have to get better. But I think that's going to end today's stream. I do appreciate everyone that popped in. Even if it was just for a little bit. Um, Yeah, we're probably going to stream something else this Friday. Uh, maybe Resident Evil 2 again. I'm not sure, uh, but we will stream Stardew Valley next Tuesday, or maybe we'll stream Stardew Valley on Friday, I don't know, probably Tuesday. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to deviate from the schedule, we're going to stream it on, <laughs> on next Tuesday, uh, but I'm not sure about th this Friday or next Friday, and uh, yeah, that's the end of the stream, thanks for watching. Check out the other content if you haven't. <laughs> Bye, Dolo Guy. And uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone.